In this video, we are gonna learn the surgeon's loop knot, which is maybe the easiest and fastest loop knot you can learn. I'll show you two useful ways to tie it, and at the end of the video, I'll explain how learning this knot is actually way more useful than it may seem, so make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss that. So getting right into it, the first step of this knot is to go ahead and double your line over. And the amount of line that you wanna double over depends on the size of the loop that you wanna make. And that's just gonna depend on what exactly it is you're trying to tie. So we'll start here with eight or 10 inches or so. And um, what you're gonna do is pinch your line together so the lines are laying flat. And then what you wanna do is create a loop. So just an overhand loop, or if you'd rather run, you know, underneath with your, uh, with your knot, that's fine too. It doesn't really matter. I prefer to go overhand, so that's what we're gonna do. So I've just created one big loop overhand like so. And then what I wanna do is take the end that's doubled over and run it through the loop that I just created in the same direction that I first made my loop. And then I'm going to do that one more time. So again, because I did an overhand, I'm gonna come around and through just like so. And then what I'm going to do is cinch this down slowly. Now, if I want this loop to be bigger, what I wanna do is keep the knot pinched on this side so that the knot comes through. If I want to shorten this loop, what I will do is slide this all down as I tighten the, the knot. But in this case, I want a large loop. So what I'm going to do is once this is about where I want it, I will just draw the tag end and the main line on this side towards uh, or away from the knot rather, and it'll cinch down. As with all knots, before you tighten it, I recommend wetting your line. Once the line is wet, you can go ahead and cinch everything down like so. And what you've created is a very large non-slip loop. So if you're tying this size of loop, what you wanna do to connect your piece of terminal tackle to it is run it through the eye of whatever tackle you're using. And then there's multiple things that you can do here and it's going to depend on your application. If you wanted to, at this point, you could tie a Palomar knot. If you really wanted to secure this uh, very snugly, if you wanted to secure it in a way where you could potentially change it out later, you could just run it once over like that. I prefer when I run it over like that, go ahead and do one twist in the line and then run it back over the piece of tackle and that creates a little bit more of a snug connection. So that is often what you'll see with sabiki rigs or double drop rigs. Um, and so this is a useful knot in this instance if you're tying a dropper rig or something like that. And then you can continue, uh, this would be a longer piece of line here and you could tie your weight to it or whatever else. Um, alternatively, if for some reason you just wanted this to be an end piece of tackle with that size of loop, you could trim this right here like so, and then you would have your end piece of line. But I will show you a way to tie this if you intend to tie it to a hook or a piece of terminal tackle and it's the end of the line. Now I'll show you a way to tie that that works a lot better. So if you wanna tie this loop knot directly to a hook or a lure or something where you want some action, certainly doable. What you wanna do is run your line through the eye of the hook, then double it over. And then what you wanna do is basically the exact same steps that you just did with the addition of the piece of tackle on the end, right? So you're going to make your loop. And if you have a hook or anything on the end, the only catch here is that the loop that you make has to be big enough for that to run through. So I'm going to take the hook and run it through once in the same direction that I created the loop. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. This time I'll just put the whole thing through so you can see it that way. And then I have the knot set up the way that I just tied it. So what I wanna do, instead of pulling the knot tight while holding this bunch and pulling it this direction, I will kind of keep it pinched down here towards the eye of the hook so that it creates a smaller loop. And then what I'll do is slowly pull everything tight like so. And before I fully tighten everything, I'm gonna go ahead and wet the line. And while that's happening, if this video has been at all helpful to you, hitting that subscribe button really helps the channel and I appreciate it. Now that it's wet, I can go ahead and pull everything tight. And again, I'm not pulling just the tag end, I'm pulling the tag end and the main line. And so at this point, I've created a nice small loop for my 
hook or my lure or whatever I'm looking to tie a loop knot around. And I can take my clippers, clip the tag end, and there we have a very neat loop knot connection. So one of the coolest and most useful aspects of this knot is that by learning it, you now know a great way to tie together two pieces of line, like your main line to your tippet or leader. So if you need to tie a leader onto your main line, by learning this knot, you really already know how. You just have to alter the process slightly. So click on this video here to use an altered version of this knot to tie any two lines together, and thanks a lot for watching.